Why hello there? Have you ever thought of letting your creativity loose and sharing that experience with others? Well, if you did, you're watching the right video! Today, I'm gonna help you make a well-organized movie. And as an example to easily show you how to do it, I will help a random stranger. Let's look for one! Oh, there! Hey there, what are you doing? What? Who said that? Me! Oh. Well, nothing. I'm just filming. You're not filming it right. What? What you talking about? You're not filming what you're supposed to. I knew that. Your angle's also wrong. I knew that too. And lastly, what are you even filming about? Well, I'm filming the tape. Well, don't worry. I'll help you. Really? Thanks! In order to make a well-organized movie, it is important to know these three major steps. First is script making. Second is filming. Third is editing. Under these three major steps, there are some sub-steps, which I will show you along the way. Now, let's go! When making a good script, you have to first brainstorm about the things that you want to write. The things that you have to think about are the topic, genre, and the characters. Once you have organized your thoughts, it's time to make the script. After making the script, we should now proceed to our second major step, which is filming. But before we start filming, we should first prepare our materials. Script, check. Tape, check. Camera, check. Things that I don't really need but are optional, check. Now, let's move to our next sub-step. You have to find the scenery that matches your story. Finding a good place to film is very important because it helps the viewers better understand the situation and it also brings more dramatization to your story. The next sub-step is to find the best angle in order to get a better view of your object. Angles are also important because they each give a certain effect. Like for example, filming from above makes your object seem weak. After filming, it is important to review the scenes, especially the sounds, and to make sure they are heard. Last but not least is editing. They say that editing is pretty simple, but it's actually the most tedious of them all. To edit your movie, you should first import them to your computer and place them in an application, like for example iMovie. After importing the videos to iMovie, just drag the scenes to the blank space on the upper left corner, like so. Then just arrange them in the order that they are supposed to be. When taking out unneeded parts of the scene, you should cut it by selecting the unneeded part of the scene and pressing the delete button on your keyboard, like so. Continue doing this for the rest of the unneeded parts too. When you want to take out something from the scene's view, you should take it out by cropping. You crop by first clicking the button with two L-shaped figures that forms like a square. After clicking it, drag the box as seen on the screen to only the view that you want to be seen in your movie. If you want to edit the sound so that you could hear them better, you should use the inspector tool. It is the button with an eye in the middle of the circle beside the crop button. After clicking this, select the scene that you want to edit and then click the audio button. There, you could easily play around with the sounds and be able to find the right sound for that scene. After you finish your editing, you should always remember to credit yourself so that people will know who to applaud when they say, oh, this video is awesome. 
The button for credits is the one with the T logo and is in the middle of the right side of the screen. After clicking this, you can choose which credit animation you would want to use. Then after that, just type whatever or whomever you want to credit. Don't forget to put the title. This can also be located in the T button where we got our credits from. After putting the final touches, don't forget to review your movie and make sure there's nothing wrong. That's a nice movie! Thanks for the help, awesome guy with a pink mustache! No problem! Every person has a story. Now that you know how to make a movie, what's yours?